Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we went even further through the depths of the Tremere Chantry and found a vampire held against his will named Eric, who was a gangrel from the, uh, from the clan Gangrel. And he told us that he was basically about to be turned into um, a gargoyle to be used uh, for the Tremere uh, army when Ardan escaped when he heard us coming further into the depths. So, uh, we have now gained Eric as our uh, comrade, and he will help us. Oh, that's Ardan. Okay. Uh, bear with me. It's been a little while since I played. Do not attack me! I shall give thee all thy desires! Hold, Ardan. I am Christoph Romuald of Clan Bruja. Where is Aneska? Welcome, Christoph Romuald. Ah, yes. An intriguing woman came unto me. A nun she was. And she was my first nun. Uh, that is... She was the first nun who ever came seeking me. Aneska, her name. She sought the lore of the kindred. She sought our secrets. And she sought to learn of thee, Kristoff. I was intrigued with such audacity. Come to the point, Magus. She seemed to have no fear. No fear at all. I was dumbstruck. She seemed possessed of the courage of a hundred warriors, yet I could smell her fear. Well aware she was of the risk she ran, was she filled with arrogant self-righteousness? No. She knew her god would not protect her from my hunger. Did she seek martyrdom? No. She clearly clung to her life and lived life with a passion I had not seen before in a nun. Was she mad? Or a mere fool? No. Behind her quiet words, there lurked a cunning mind. She was... She was... Some I man. did not know what she was. And in not knowing, I was intrigued. Intrigued and... Strangely... Drawn to her. I care not for thy loathsome appetites, Ardan. What became of her? And she was quite beautiful. Didst thou know? Couldst thou see that behind her wimple, that her hair was long and auburn? Couldst thou see that beneath the shapeless folds of her robe, that she possessed a body as achingly beautiful as any odalisque? Truly. She chose the wrong profession to make the best use of the gifts God had bestowed upon her. In defiance of heaven, she had buried her talents in the field of the holy orders. Her beauty transfixed me, just as her courage thrilled me. I had never met a woman like her, and I shall never again. I had to have her. I had to make her my own child. If thou dare to defile her in such a way, I swear, I will burn thee to ash an inch at a time. Thou might show more charity to the only one who can find her. He baits thee, Christoph, and dawdles for some treacherous purpose. Pray, let me kill him! Ardan, if thou dost fail to tell me where she is with thy next breath, Eric will behead thee before thou draw breath again. I know not. I touched her not, but merely sent her away to the Tamizi. Oh my god. Dost thou take me for a fool? Why wouldst thou send one thou lusted for to thy hated enemy? Yeah. My sire would not allow me another child, and I dared not defy him. But I could not bear the thought of another embracing her. So I sent her to the Tamizi. They are the only clan that would have no use for one such as she, so I could be sure they would not embrace her. They would simply kill her, thinking her a part of some Tremere scheme. Devil-tongued fiend! Thou hast sent her to her death! 
die. Wait, she did return from the Tsimitsi. What? Liar. The Tsimitsi would have killed her. Peace. Let him speak. I asked her how she survived, and she said, her faith sustains her in all things. She even thanked me for sending her to the Tsimitsi. Ah, oh, a most remarkable woman. My spies did tell of a premise revenant that did cower before the pure light of her faith, and sobbing like a child, whispered to her of Golconda. Golconda? What is that? The belief that a vampire can be redeemed, cured of the blood of Cain. Tis but a legend, and no more, told to give comfort to weak-willed Cainites. Yet no one knows more of Golconda than the great Tremere master, Etrius. She said she would go to him in his chantry in Vienna. She even asked to ride to Vienna in our October caravan of slaves. What a woman! Where is she? Tell me or I will split thee in twain! I delivered her to the Ventru caravan driver, Orsi, and they left three days ago for Vienna. Doc, thou hast enslaved her. Ha! Master Etrius will take great delight in her. And now I have finished casting this spell that will destroy thee, thou love-struck clotpool! Ah, Ardan, I will slay thee if it is my last act on earth! <gasps> ah! Okay, before we go ahead, first off, what the fuck? Okay, I knew he was gonna do something. Like, he was stalling. It's, it's pretty obvious. Because the Tremere are not cowardly like this. Like, none of them are. They're, they're not known to be like that kind of coward. They're fucking mages, right? So you, you're, you're telling me you sent her to the Samitsi, she came back, and then you sent her away three days ago. So she went all the way to Vienna, came back to Prague, and then was sent away again three days ago. When all this is happening in like a span of like three days? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm not a fucking idiot. Um. <laughs> second, that was fucking long winded, man. Like. Um. Also, I wanted to make a quick note. I find it interesting that even though we're changing like uh, wardrobes, like uh, giving him like better armor and shit, Kristoff is still wearing. Uh, Crusader armor. That's that's interesting to me. Okay, let's see how this fight goes. Um, hopefully as well as I think it does. Uh, what am I doing here? So we'll do celerity and we'll do. Come on, Arden shall crush thee beneath his heel. Oh, whoops. oh, just why can I not attack him? Submit what the fuck's going on? Oh, am I odds or something? Come, we return to the university in triumph. Very well. But then I shall go to Vienna and reclaim fair Ineska from these cursed warlocks. All right. So he's got the feral claws. Wish I had the the book, because the book actually tells you what you unlock every time you select something new. Um, but honestly, for right now, I think his dex is pretty sitting pretty good. Um, so 
1,250. I'll add one. I'll do a couple of these, and I'll start raising a strength. Uh, I forgot what stamina does, too. Okay. Um, I think your blood healing is good. I think feed. Uh, actually, I'll raise strength. Aspects and lure flames. <clears throat> so torch creates a light of bale fire that follows the user. That's pretty cool. Aspects. So psychic projection. No, we already had that. Yeah, I think our blood healing is good. Uh, maybe the feed again will raise up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's going to raise her strength as well. I know I should probably raise the dex, but 54 is okay. Oh, he's got a strength of 65, this guy. Okay, let's see here. Enlist targeted animals to your aid. Summons animals to your aid. And lowers frenzy levels and creates complacency in targeted creatures. Oh, that's pretty cool. Although, honestly, in Eric's case, it might not generally be a bad idea to let loose the beast sometimes, you know? Transforms the user into a wolf. I'm surprised his feral claws aren't higher. Um, I think blood healing first. How much is feral claws? A thousand. There's also oh, that's 1250. You know what? I'm just going to raise the blood healing. Yeah. Then I'll save the rest. Just because he already does like a good amount of strength anyway with the regular weapons. Oh, thank you for porting me back. So, invade the Tremere Chantry, heading beneath the pharmacy on Golden Lane, which we did. So now we have to talk to Katarina. I must take my leave of this city. I am sure the Tremere hold Aneska in their Vienna Chantry. I can no longer continue here while she remains in danger. Ardan was a consummate deceiver. The Tremere have gathered fearsome power in Vienna, and we are not ready for bloody battle with the usurpers. They invited thee to play a sinister game. They know that one day we will have to attack their Vienna Chantry, and so they desire to force our hand before we are ready. I shall not be tricked. Only after we have gathered the other clans in alliance may we contemplate a strike against them. We will not venture into so palpable a trap. She's right. <sighs> See, I'm torn because I agree with her. This is quite obviously a fucking trap. I mean, considering that we're in an um, unsteady alliance uh, with the Tremere against the Tsimitsi, they're going to do what they can to kind of weaken our ranks within um, while we both fight on like a similar front. But on the other hand, the whole point of this is so we can kind of save Aneska. Well, the whole point of Kristoff, anyway. Um, I'm going to go with the... But Aneska will die. But Aneska will die. 
Many have died in the Elder Wars, and many more will die ere Gehenna comes. But fewer will die if we bide our time and heed not the trickery of the Tremere. Again, I, I agree with her. But I cannot simply abandon an Eska to those fiends. Again, this is me role-playing the character, right? I would personally choose that as wise, but role-playing as Kristoff, knowing his motivations, this is what he would do. He's a Bruja at heart, right? Like, he's a fucking rebel, so... But I cannot simply abandon Ineska to those fiends? Thou canst and thou must. Thy claim upon her is born in weak need, mortal sentiment. Release such frailties and spare thyself further wretchedness. We cut our ties to mortals when first we receive the blessing of all Father Cain. Thou hast been reborn in blood, cleansed of mortal claims. Thou art exalted. Thou art immortal. Thou art finally free. Yeah, that's a that's another thing that a lot of people don't really understand about vampire, like the in terms of like role playing. Yes, you are supposed to maintain your humanity to kind of quell the beast and uphold the masquerade in that sense, so that you're not haunted. You know what I mean? So, so people aren't, you know, knocking down your doors with fucking torches or like crossbows or whatever, right? But at the same time, you are a predator at heart. You know, there's a reason that they keep a humanity score because you are, for all intents and purposes, like a fucking predator. You are. Like you're an apex predator. You are above what mortal, uh, like uh, mortal sentiment, as she says. You know, like even, uh, <sighs> I, I was gonna go into a whole tangent, but it, it doesn't really matter. He shouldn't have this kind of sentiment. Not really. Um, I get he's still like a fledgling vampire. He's still new. I get that. Um, and again, these feelings are going to go away. Um, in terms of like the role playing, that's how vampires basically are. They keep very little, if any, sentiment towards their, their moral lives. You know, their brothers, their parents, their siblings, their loved ones, like their wives, husbands, kids, whatever. They may. It's basically kind of like for those who read Spawn, it's basically the same thing as Spawn. Like, he's dead. You know, like, he he is a hell spot. He is an evil person who's trying to maintain humanity. That's It's basically that. He, But he keeps ties to his mortal life in order to kind of maintain that humanity. Um, which, in a sense, is good and bad. Again, you, you want to maintain the humanity to, uh, again, kind of keep the beast at bay just so you're not a fucking raving lunatic. You're not going around killing people left, right, and center. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, okay, so, yes, I reject her. I see. I thought we were Prometheans respect the mortals, and I see. I think I'm going to go with the second one. I thought we Prometheans respect the mortals. I thought we Prometheans respect the mortals. For a bumpkin of a holy warrior, thou dost reason like a Greek sage. I, we respect mortal men. But we do not seek kinship with the current breed. For lo, these many generations, mortals have been cowed by the cleverness of the Inkanu. Their faculties are thrown by scheming mages, and their wisdom tainted by demons. The little nobility left in them is tainted by corrupt rulers and priests. The mortals of Carthage were worthy companions. Their base progeny are not worth the spilling of the blood of immortals. Sorry, there's something in my eye. Oh, and one other quick thing. Sorry, I keep on rambling. Um, when the Arden, the Tremere guy that we fought, when he mentioned Golconda about, like, curing the vampire curse, as far as I know, no such thing exists. Because, I mean, keep in mind, like, vampirism is not a disease. It's a, it's a curse. It's a curse by God. You know what I mean? It's, it's a supernatural thing. Um... 
and one that really sticks. As far as I know, there is no curing the vampire, uh, the vampire curse. Apparently, again, like I mentioned a few videos ago, I've been listening to a podcast uh, that talks about like the different versions of vampire. Apparently, there was a scientist. Um, oh, I forgot his name. He was one of like the the pioneers in like genetics, um, like back in like the eighteen hundreds or seventeen hundreds or something like that. Um, apparently, it was eventually a retcon because it doesn't make sense. He made it. He he basically found out like the whole about the whole vampire thing, and he kind of put the disease in himself so that when he died of natural causes, he woke up. He woke as a vampire. Again, it was kind of retconned out because it literally makes no fucking sense. Because it's a curse. It's not like a disease, like a genet like a genetic thing. Your soul is actually cursed. And that's what makes you a vampire. And that's what basic diablorizing is. Whenever you kill like other vampires and like you suck like all their blood, you are essentially sucking out like their soul. Like you are destroying their soul. You're you're putting their essence in yourself to make yourself stronger. That's why it's a big no-no because it's um, it's cannibalism basically. Okay, I Aneska is a mere mortal. Aneska is noble woman as ending Carthage, and I understand. Uh, I'm gonna go with the second one. Aneska is as noble a woman as any in Carthage. We must rescue her. Brazen brat, thou hast earned no such right. Even faithful Wilhelm would quake in fear before making such a selfish request. Perhaps, but I make it all the same. Perhaps, but I make it all the same. Mayhap, in a generation or two, thou shalt be deemed worthy of making such a request. Forgive me, I pay thou... I pay thou one day... I, I guess I mean, let's just say, I pray thou one day find me worthy of such requests. In a generation or two she will die an old woman, even if she survives at Samitsi. In a generation or two, she will die an old woman, even if she survives the Zemitsi. Then let her die! She chose her path, not thee! She chose to enter the world of vampires. Thou canst not save the foolhardy from their own reckless ways. Remember, like Cain, we are not our brother's keepers. I dragged her down this vile pit, and I will draw her back again. True, she did not have to leave the convent. I cannot save her. Nah, the first one. I dragged her down in this vile pit, and I will draw her back again. I forbid it. Tread lightly, lest thou arouse my anger and provoke my powers upon thee. Oh my god. At this point, it seems like the DM's like, Listen, bro, you're trending on thin fucking ice here. I said no. <laughs> I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Do as thou must, but I must rescue her. I know not the fate of my soul, only the state of my heart. Very well. I see thy heart is fixed upon this course, and thou wilt not be denied. Go if thou wilt. Shouldst thou survive the Tremere trap, remember well this freedom I have bestowed upon thee. But I shall not attend this fool's errand. Only a Malkavian would follow thee. Then call me a moon-mad child of Malkav, for I shall go. So she's like, no. Come on, no, please, no! Come on! Alright, fine. Go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go this alone. Willem, thou art true a friend as any in God's kingdom. A true fool. Mayhap I shall yet see this God of whom thou art overmuch fond. 
or mayhap we shall tear the foul halls of the Tremere down around their scabrous ears and bring the black heart of their sire to a Katarina to wear as a charm. Wilhelm, thou art mad! Two Canaanites cannot survive the house to Hexie. Not two, three shall go. Though I have no wish to see the inside of another Tremere chantry, I shall discharge my life boon by accompanying the brave Bruja who pried open in the jaws of the Tremere trap and released poor Eric. Where Kristoff goes, Serena goes. Mayhap four shall prevail where one cannot. Mayhap I shall have to replace four Prometheans. Come, we leave for Vienna. Leave for Vienna by East Gate. What is this? Sorry. Leave Prague through the East Gate and continue your search for Niska in Vienna. Alright. So, before we do that, we really need to um, clean out our inventory here. Um, I'm just going to cut away, just so you guys don't need to see all this. This means traveling through the Bohemian Forest. It is beset with werewolves, mortal enemies of our kind. Few canines survive the road. There will be no trouble with the moon beasts while I am near. My clan has made peace with these creatures. We will have safe passage through the forest. Very well. Let us leave by the east gate. Okay, now. <laughs> hey, I think I'm done with everything. Um, I got uh, Kristoff a new sword. I got uh, Eric a new... Weapon, uh, what is that, a point guard? Yeah, and sold all the other stuff. Nothing major. Okay, are we... Oh, return to Prague. Cool. Church Haven, what's this? Desecrated Church. Is there anything to do? Guessing that goes down. I don't know how do we activate that. Oh, there's a lever right there. I'm guessing this is our home away from home? Yeah, it looks like it. <coughs> is there a vault? Yeah. Back out. Funny how our haven's in a fucking church. Northern Ringstrasse. Outer Strat. Oh, hi. Where are we? So we're out of stride, which means we can actually go in a circle. Oh no, wait. Dust created church. Northern church. So this is where we are. Okay, so we came all the way around, and this is where we need to go. I got it. here now. Okay, I see. Order of Hermes. Another Tremere. Nay, he is mortal. I can smell it. Aye, not Tremere, but a mortal mage of the order that splintered into the Tremere. He may be useful. Hail to thee, mage. I am Christoph of Clan Bruja. Hail to thee. I am Orvis, mage of the Hermetic Order. Oh, so Glad we can just, uh, you know, drop our names and clans just, just like that. Amulet of Perception. Blood cost 60%. Well, that's pretty cool. 
giant's blood. Okay. Godspeed, eh? Oh, there you go. Sod Green Frog in. Oh, that's a vampire if I ever saw one. I don't know why. There we go. Kazi. We are looking for a Ventru named Orsi. Canst thou tell us where we may find him? Come to his mansion in the Western Lingstasa. Tonight there's a feast in honor of the new solstice. Here's an invitation on the finest virgin skin parchment. Ooh, I, can I like it. not this talk of the skin of virgins. <laughs> oh, I almost missed it. Okay, what is this? The Ten Count Orsi's Party. Enter Orsi's mansion in Western Ringstrasse and Mingle. Okay. Sounds like a fun time. No, where are you, where are you going? Bro. Like, right there. Where, where are you going? Just stay there. Speak up, stranger. Dost thou crave wine, ale, or spirits? Do you have a vintage hemoglobin by chance? Or plasma? I'll take plasma. Speak up, stranger! Dost thou crave wine, ale, or So, I wonder if this is some kind of side quest? Interstrat. Sonic Knight Base. Make too much noise, bro. By the way, I apologize if my my voice sounds kind of weird. Um, I I do. I guess I can't go there. I do use a a, a filter, and um, my AC is also going off in the background, which can be pretty loud. So if you hear like humming every now and then, that's because of that. So I do apologize, but it is, it is hot. There is like a huge heat wave going on right now where it like feels like 45. It's ridiculous. And I did also tweak the sound um, of the game because I found that the volume of the, the music was way too loud at times and um, overpowers the dialogue quite a bit. And I do turn down the sound during editing, too. Like, a lot. Ooh, a weapon smith. Nice. Yeah, I want to get a neck guard for Eric. Um, the guy in town didn't have one. We are welcome in the weapon shop of Friedrich von Svetter. There are no finer weapons in all Vienna than are here in. We seek mended armor. Thou hast an impoverished look. And the demeanor of outlanders. Hast thou coin to pay? If such uncharitable suspicion is the custom of the land, I am glad to be an outlander. We are merely weary and dusty from the road. We can pay our way. We can pay in gold or in blood. The choice is thine, Von Sweeter. Uh, yes. How may I be of service? Wow, this guy's actually got plate mail and shit. Um. Wow, his shit's actually, well, kind of organized. And he's certainly got a lot more stuff.
An insulated shield. Unholy scale mail. Max 40 humanity. Yeah, no way. Okay, well, I was looking for a, a neck guard, but it doesn't look like he has one. Fortunately, unless I just full on missed it. Um, he could use a helm, I guess. Maybe we could all use helms. Well, I mean, you could definitely use a helm. You can use a helm. Um, yeah. Yeah, might as well. 358, it's not too bad. Did he run out? Guess he did. Weird. Okay. I have a great shield. Okay. Very well. Let me just equip this shit. Rest. Greetings. Okay. At least we got some more, um, what's the word? Armor. I can't brain right now, sorry. Uh, Moro Dagger, yeah, 20 lethal. Yeah, I think, she, I think it's all good for now. 20 lethal might not seem a lot, but I mean, she does a lot of... She probably gets like two hits in every every one hit the other guys do. So, basic kind of equals out to 40, which is not bad. Fare thee well. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, yeah. Go this way... Okay, and I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.